All right, everyone, we're uh, back with, I guess, the second half of this day. Um, I said I would, I might do this video towards the end of it. And let's take a step back for a sec. That's, uh, that's what it'll kind of finally look like once things are all put together properly. As it says right now, there's not a lot of nuts and bolts holding it together. We do have the issue of that big gap under the light. Um, and I'm gonna have to look into that further because this may actually need uh, the core rad support for everything to line up properly. Um, like it's, the lights like, I mean, Again, there's not a lot of nuts and bolts. Everything kind of lines up. It's just, they get really funky. It protrudes like too far out. And you should be able to kind of tell like that, like, you know, there's a lot of overlap right there. They're not seating in far enough. Uh, one of the other things, um, as far as I guess like the first video where I said, this is uh, plug and play. The wires don't actually reach long enough because on, I guess, the input, where you plug in the harness is like, like fairly centered right here. It's moved like way to the far side and it is short. So um, you will need to cut and extend the wires a little bit or get yourself uh, like a donor, whatever. But from afar, you step back, it's looking pretty good. Again, take it to the grain of salt. This is me just kind of doing this for a couple minutes on my driveway. Um, I did get tires for the uh, the OEM mag wheels, like the five star, the five spokes from Ken Upol as well. So it is becoming, you know, I, I didn't want to like, you know, quote unquote, race it out, but I wanted to make it look as, I guess, nice and as factory as possible without a bunch of like just cheap like you know things thrown on it I didn't want to cheap out too much like I am doing things on a budget understandably but it's uh I don't want it to look like oh man that guy's just driving a piece of shit because like the, I mean the whole reason me doing this is to keep it looking or keep it from looking like a piece of shit um there aren't a ton of aftermarket parts for these guys and they all pretty much ship like from Korea so it does take some time um, I do like I said I got the OEM bug deflector I do have uh, like the OEM little lip spoiler or uh, trunk spoiler sorry um, that has to get painted and then you can drill it to like make sure it is secure I don't want to drill it per se and then you know like have trunk rust and stuff so I might just you know use like double-sided 3m adhesion tape stuff just to make it like semi-permanent fog lights as well but the grill will be coming soon uh, take a step back I mean it's not it's not looking bad like this is completely doable completely doable it just needs uh, just needs some time that's all so again thanks for sticking around thanks for watching this guy and uh, Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys.